YouTube fam, it's your girl Kiana and welcome to my channel. If you are new here and you love fashion like your girl does, please feel free to subscribe down below. Also turn on your notifications so you can be notified of any up and coming videos that your girl may make. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back my loves, thanks for the support. So you guys, we are going to be doing a very small sheet and haul. I have a few items of clothing that I want to show you as well as a few accessories that I picked up from them. I'm also going to show you two other accessories that I picked up also, um, and those two are just sunshades. I picked up one from Amazon, and I picked up one from um, the kiosk in the mall. So, these items, y'all, I picked these up about a month ago. I ordered them about a month ago, maybe a little over a month, but they have been in my storage closet um, the whole time once I received them. I sprayed everything down. I made sure everything was sanitized before I brought them in my house. And then I kind of let them sit for a while. Now that we have this virus spreading through um, the United States, it's not stopping people from ordering. You just have to make sure that you're safe when you bring them into your home. Make sure you sanitize them, spray them down with any type of disinfect, the packages anyway, with any type of disinfectant that you have. And if it's clothes or jewelry, just let them air out and let them sit for a while just to make sure that, um, you know, everything, anything, if it was anything on it that those germs die down so let's get into the video you guys the first item i'm going to show you are a pair of sunshades and these sunshades were ordered from amazon by the brand lico fashion fashion eyewear now i picked these up because i was watching another youtuber and she had um purchased these from amazon and these are a chloe dupe they come in this um travel bag um well sunglass bag um, and these are the glasses. These are a dupe for the Chloe glasses. I'm not sure the name of the Chloe glasses, but these are kind of like spot on. Let me see if you can see them. Spot on um, for the Chloe glasses, you guys. These are how the shades look on me. I thought these were re really, really cute. I brought them because I planned on going on vacation, and I did want to wear these on vacation. I think they are very, very cute. <laughs> these were only $15, if I'm not mistaken, on Amazon. They were a very um, cheap price. If they weren't $15, they were no more than $20. But I love, love, love these shades. Amazon is a place where you can get um, designer dupes far as whether it's from jewelry or sunshades. They even have um, clothes. Now, sometimes they have things that kind of really, instead of being a dupe, it's kind of like a replica. Now, I have been seeing videos like that, but if it is a replica, Amazon is very, very good with flagging those vendors and taking those items down. But this is not a replica. They, these are a dupe. The next shades I'm going to show you, I actually picked up from the mall. Now, these are something, this is something that I normally wouldn't go for. They are really, really gaudy, um, but at the same time, I was going to Miami, so I didn't mind kind of being a little extra in Miami, if you know what I mean. So, um, these are the glasses. Very cute. They kind of, um, what's the name of that um, brand? Luewe, Luewe, they kind of like, I can't, I'm not going to even butcher that person's name, but it's kind of like a designer dupe um, for those. And these are the glasses, you guys. These are the glasses, very gaudy, <laughs> just very up in your face. My husband hates them, but I think they're cute. They're only for certain occasions. I wouldn't wear this. Um just out to the mall i would wear this if i really wanted to be a little extra and those shades were i think um twenty dollars they were even 15 or 20 i think they were 20 but i think if you buy two pair you get them two for 35 or something of that sort. either two for 30 or two for 35 but i only brought one pair so i'm pretty sure they were about 20 dollars so now let's get into the sheet and pieces i picked up a couple of accessories from them um, the first things I'm going to show you are earrings. Now, if you know from my last video, I told you that I've been picking up um, some statement jewelry. I kind of like to wear statement jewelry in the summertime because I'm a little more simpler in the summertime. I wear, like, um, just simple things. Um, you know, when it's hot, you don't want a lot of extra clothing. So, if I'm just wearing a plain white sundress, um, I kind of like to bring um, my simple clothes out with 
kind of um, statement earrings or sunshades or statement bag and these are statement earrings they statement for me they might not be statement for anyone else normally I'm just a stud type of girl or a hoop these are just a pair of sheet and earrings you guys I picked these up um, I'm not sure of the price of these because I said I got these a while ago but you can get sheet and earrings for about two dollars I really like these I think these are just a pair of um smaller type of earrings they're not really big they're kind of smaller but you can wear these in an the outfit if you're kind of dressed up or even something dressed down when you kind of want your your jewelry to be a little bit more fancier next earrings i'm going to show you are these here yeah they're just um like flowers with like diamonds in the flowers a hoop they are bigger hoop than the last pair these are very very cute um this is more of statement just because of how big the hoop is with the flowers and diamonds this is more of a dressed up style of earring but again like i said even if you have on a dress down outfit your jewelry can dress things up your accessories can dress up a dress down outfit love 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 these my loves the next jewelry that i'm going to show you are these two necklaces here and this one is kind of like, let me turn it down again. This one is kind of like, looks like kind of a, of a snake type of material. And this one, I mean, um, design. And this one is just um, a square with like a rose in it. I hope you can see that. So, yes, these are the style of necklaces that I tend to buy. I'm not big on um, those chunky type necklaces. It's just not my style. The next necklace is this one here. I hope you can see it. Oh, let me turn it down. It's just a kind of like, um, looks like kind of like a shooting arrow. But that's that. Yeah, so this is um, kind of like a shorter chain. So this one is probably something that definitely can be layered. So yeah, these um, necklaces were probably like a dollar or two dollars. Okay, you guys. So let's get into clothes. Um, I didn't pick up a lot of items. This was this is not my first time shopping at Shein. I shopped at Shein, I think maybe once or twice previously, but I'm still kind of like iffy on their quality as well as um, their sizing. So. I didn't want to order a lot. I kind of wanted to just like dibble and dabble in a few things. Um, now I do know I did notice that um, Shein has the quality has gone up much more than what it was when they first started. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this vest here, and this is really really cute, you guys. I actually saw this on. Um, Brittany on pockets um pockets and bows she had this she ordered this some time ago so i wanted to give it a try as well i love this i have really been into the whole vest thing here lately um you notice that i showed you in my last video two vests that i um i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so tongue-tied that i recently purchased so this is the third vest i think this is probably like the fifth fifth best style blazer that I have in my um, closet so love this um, it is house too so you know that was big this um, well actually winter fall spring um, and I guess it's probably gonna be still big in the summer so these um the whole house tooth was all over the wrong way so yes house tooth is back again and I thought this was so cute I love that it has the gold buttons it makes it look a little more chic the only thing is it's the material is good but i wish that it was a little bit more structure um you can see that it has a little bit oh what is that i'm sorry you guys this was in my um storage room but this could be kind of a little bit better executed but i think it's a very very nice blazer okay so this one is okay it's okay um it fits pretty well um it does fits pretty well now i didn't feel like going to say to get a shirt so i just have it buttoned but you can wear this unbuttoned as well um i think it's cute i still feel as though it looks a little cheaply made 
um, falls, you know, falls a little bit of the strings hanging or whatever. But I think if you cut a little bit of, you know, cut the strings, cut the loose strings or, um, and maybe wear a nice, pretty camel sole under this, this will be pretty. A, um, a nice high heel. This would be cute. Yeah, this would be cute. I just can't open it right now for you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you can get away with it. Um, I, I think this was no more than about $25, so you can't beat that. You can't beat it. It fits perfect. So the two extra large definitely um, fits very well. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's cute. The next item I'm going to show you is this dress here. this this was a very very pretty summer spring like dress I think this would look lovely with a straw bag a straw hat and just a pair of nice espadrilles you guys um, this is a mustard like color and then it has the green and red embroidery on the front of the dress it has a slight v-neck it's not a low v-neck just a slight um, it did come with this belt now I wouldn't wear this belt with it. I don't think it's necessary. And it does not have any belt loops. So I'm not sure um, why they had this. But I did see in a couple of people videos that sometimes she in does not um, have belt loops. Um, I'm not a fan of a belt just, you know, added to an outfit where with, with no loops. Um, so I'm pretty sure I definitely won't be wearing this um, belt here but I just love the dress I think it's very very summer spring summerish and this is in a size 2 extra large again I normally would go for 1 extra large but I'm just not sure about she ends um, sizing so yeah I got this in the 2x now I do want to tell you guys I have not tried on any of these things I will be trying these on with you today <laughs> this is my first time taking them out of the bag um, in the month that I had them so yes you'll see how this fit I'm thinking it's going to fit perfect um, yeah we'll see now this I love I love 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 this I love this I love this whole kind of swing style dress I think it's a perfect length I'm feeling here because I was you know I will I was hoping that it had pockets that's the only thing that I'm not liking that it doesn't have pockets but I think this is just a very cute, um, minimal, girly type dress. I love the sleeves, the poofiness of the sleeves. I love where the sleeves hit me. I love the color. I love the embroidery. I love everything about this dress. Um, yeah, again, I would not wear it with the belt. I would wear it just like this. Um, some people may kind of want to cinch it in, but if I was to cinch it in, it definitely wouldn't be with that belt. But me personally, I would keep it just the way it is with a nice um, bucket straw bag maybe a straw hat and a pair of espadrilles or even flat sandals i will keep this very very simple i think this is kind of my favorite out of the whole haul um very simple <laughs> but it's my favorite i love it i love the way it flows the way it hangs very cute i think this one was about 19.99 um, very good price. I just wish it had pockets. That's the only thing. But I love this dress. So sticking with the hounds tooth um, style, I just kind of when they had all this hound tooth on the runways, I just ran with it. I was trying to pick up as much as I could. And then you guys know in the winter time, I had picked up that whole hound tooth coat from H&M that I love. I got so many compliments on that coat. So I wanted to stick with that. And I found this shirt here. I think this shirt was only $9.99, you guys. It's a house suit. It's long sleeve and it has the puffy sleeves at the top. The only thing about this top, it's a basic top. The only thing is what I don't like. I think after a wash or two, this is going to fade horribly. Um, just the type of material and the fabric that it's in, it's not, um, it's not a starch black already. So I know this is going to kind of fade. I know I'm not going to get a lot of wear out of this, but it's cute. I think it was maybe $9.99, so I can deal with it. This is in a size 2 extra large, so we shall see how that fit. 
I'm definitely not a too extra large on top. It kind of looks a little big, um, but I have been sticking to sticking, you know, tucking my shirts in nowadays. So if it's a little big, I'm probably sure I can work with it. So I'm not really upset about that. So this one, I'm really glad that I got this one in a 2X. I actually probably would have preferred to go up to a 3X. Um, this runs a little small and the fabric is not the best of fabric. So um, if it's, to me, it's pulling a little bit weird, but I do love the sleeves, the whole puff of the sleeves. Um, it fit my arms perfectly, um, and I do have bigger arms, so I'm very glad with the 2X. Um, I do still think that I wouldn't get a lot of wear out of this before it fades out, um, but it's nice. It's nice. It's a nice top for the price. The next item that I'm going to show you is this here. Now, you guys, I always wanted to try that whole organza um, type of trend. It was in last season. I didn't pick anything up last season, but I definitely wanted to give it a try um, this season since I see that it, it, it has came back in um, this year. So I decided to pick this up as she in. I tried, I'm, I'm trying it now because um, she in has very affordable prices. I didn't want to kind of dibble and dabble in this not knowing if I was going to like it and pay um, high prices at places like um, Zara or anything. Now this has a long tie at the front where you can tie a big bow. Um, I never tried this style of top even with like the big bow so we'll see how this go in the cutout. Now this is sheer. You can wear this with just a bra under it or you can wear it with a tank top. I'm probably going to have a tank top on under this. Um, I have seen people wear it both ways with something under it. And, you know, some people wear it with just a bra, a new bra, or, you know, you can wear a white bra. I'm not sure if I would wear a white bra. I probably would wear a bralette, if anything, if I was going to wear it just like that. This is is an a size two extra large as well I, I guess i got everything in the two extra large um not sure probably just kind of confused on the measurements or something because i normally don't buy two extra larges in tops but we'll see how this fits okay so i'm still not sure about this one um i think it's kind of cute i do love um the puffiness of the sleeve and the bow um, it's kind of more of like a dramatic type shirt. Just not sure how it looks on me. I don't have on the right bra, you guys. Sorry again. Um, not sure. I think it may look cute on a, a maybe going to church um, with a nice high-waisted black pencil skirt or um, a nice high-waisted pair of slacks may be cute. Um, I'm just not sure. I'm not used to this style of shirt. You guys let me know what you think. Um, the sizing is right on. Um, the sleeves are cute, and then the buttons are pearls, you guys. So I think it's cute. It's more of a it well, it's a very dressed up type of look. I'm just not sure if it's my style. Let me know if you like it or not in the comments below. So sticking to the organza um, trend, I also picked this up, um, and this one is probably will be more kind of my style because it's just a regular top at the bottom. And then it has the whole sheer organza um, at the top. Now, this is also a puff sleeve. It's a high neck, and it has the button here in the back. Um, and then it's it's ribbed. I love ribbed tops. I think ribbed tops um, kind of look more um, put together, I guess, um, rather than a regular cotton type of... Well, it's still cotton, but just regular than a regular cotton type of bottom. I love rib, so it has the rib sleeves as well, whereas though it probably makes it poof up a little bit more since it's kind of tighter at the um, wrist part. But this is not a baby doll pink. Now, y'all know I'm not big on pink, but I still wanted to give it a try. Um, let me see if I can see the size on this one. This is also a two extra large, so we'll see how this works as well. Hey you guys, I'm feeling this one. I think it's cute. I think it's really, really cute. Now, again, not that big on pink, but I think it's so girly. If you're that, you know, that girly girl type, 
um this would be perfect now i don't have on the right bra i just stuck my bra straps down in the shirt but it'll be very very cute with a strapless bra love the exaggerated sleeves again um I, only thing i just wish that this whole bottom part here was just a little bit tighter um it is kind of loose um on the rear part of the wrist if this was a little bit tighter it would fit even better but very cute the 2x is perfect so make sure you go up in these shirts you guys because they are um they do run a little bit small um in my preference they all run a little bit smaller than what they should but this is cute this would be very very cute with a pair of white jeans and a pair of white lace up sandals i feel this i like it i really do like it last item i'm going to show you is just a plain basic camel sole this is a cow neck camel sole i tend to wear a lot of these in the summertime i wear i still wear blazers in the summer i wear lighter weight blazers and i love to have a camel sole under them this is a very beautiful color it's kind of it's a purple but kind of like a fuchsia a fuchsia purple um in between a fuchsia and a purple this is in a one extra large um so not sure how this is going to fit normally i will get an extra large or a large in my camel soles but we shall see um i think the co the color of this is just gorgeous now um it it does have it's it's a satin feel but it's kind of like that thinner type satin feel i'm just hoping that it hangs properly on me but it does have the adjustable strap in the back which is awesome so you can adjust it to make sure that it fits you properly in the bosom area <laughs> so this one is a little too big um i wish i would have gone down to maybe even a large and this one this one is a 1x now and i don't have on the proper bra i just tuck my um, bra straps in the inside um but it is a little big it's, i got it tucked in but it comes pretty long um yeah actually i may would have rather this in a extra large instead of the 1x or even a large probably would have fit better but um it's okay the color is very pretty i still can get away with it with just tucking it in with a blazer it should still do good um the cow neck part i wish that it kind of draped a little bit more i kind of think this fabric is a little cheapy so not sure about this one okay you guys so that brings me to the end of this video i told you i didn't pick up a lot of pieces so this was a short one um i do love the pieces that i did get um she in is a very affordable company right now they're doing free shipping i think that's on all items i don't think it's a price limit on how much you have to spend to get the items shipped to you for free not sure if they still have these items but they have since came out with their spring collection so all right my loves have a good one